that in order to graduate from high school, for each cal, I mean, the student has to meet certain requirement. I mean, for each of the category. So some of the language class depends on the the, the district that you are your kids is in. Some of the the district actually allow this Chinese course as a uh, as, uh, as a language art course, but some of them are elective. And then, so that will be very individual type of questions, but we can kind of share with you later on. There's actually more on slide to talk about that, all right? And another thing is one thing I want to make sure that we're aware of that. We would love to have a Saturday class, Saturday after credit class, but it really depends on the number of students that enroll. As you can tell that we have more students, always historically, that we have more students enroll the, this high school after credit classes I mean, in a Sunday class instead of the Saturday one. Okay, so it really, so your child, even though you're taking the Saturday course, you might, you might have to take the the Sunday course, Sunday classes, Sunday afternoon classes. But that doesn't mean your kids have to do all of this. Okay, you do not want to be high credit to be credit to the Then again, moving on have to do your three hours and this is it just like what you have right now i mean currently so it is not required but it's available so we'll make sure that everyone is aware so this is what i just said about the afternoon class all right so talking about different district different requirements so this is what we got so far okay your kids is from irvine then the, your the maximum of the credit that student can earn is 10. And then, as far as I know, I believe the Irvine is going to be an elective course. And then you must be thinking that why? Why do I have to take the elective classes if it's just going to be counted as elective? Okay, there are two reasons that you want to do that. Number one, okay, you want to free up your schedule. Why is that important? Because when you kids go to high school, there's plenty of courses your kids want to take. But especially, so it depends on the interest level. Okay, some parents wanted to get, because right now the CTE course is very popular, the CTE pathway, what that means is you have, your kids might have some interest in certain career pathway, and uh, so a lot of school, a lot of district offers some kind of certification kind of pro pathway in order for your kids to actually get a certificate. Like for example, in order to buy a school district, we actually have a pathway that students can earn some kind of piloting, initial piloting license. It's like aviation pathway, it's really cool. And we have another one for digital art, we have computer science. You can actually end up getting some kind of license, certificate at the end. So how do you do that on top of all your courses? You need to clear up your schedule. And there are not a group of parents that wanted to be very focusing on, more focusing on the AP courses. Okay, and in Irvine particularly, you know, some, sometimes that your, your schedule is so full, you're not able to take as many AP courses or classes that you would like to. So this will free up your schedule. Okay, second of all, okay, well, this is also will allow you to have some advantage on your transcript. What does that mean? Okay, what that means is everybody, in, actually in California, you know a second language, you're bilingual, is not a big deal. I mean, honestly, everybody here sort of speak a second language anyway. So how do you have the advantage that, that when you do the college application to make sure that, hey, we're reviewing the application and knowing that not only you can say two languages, your child can say three languages, but you can say how do you prove it. This will be a very helpful way to do it. So it all ties into you can take another foreign language class such as Spanish, it's a very popular one. And then you just do the Chinese one and also reflect it on your transcript by doing it this way. Okay. So, but for the school or district that allow 40, you know, that's even better. And some of the district actually allow this to become a foreign language course. And then uh, that that is even better because some of the parents that wanted to just have a foreign language, I believe that foreign language is taken care of, I mean, outside the, the, the school, so they can do something else, they can take the different courses. So these are some of the reasons that uh, will be advantage for you 
for your kids to take a, to, to do the extra credit costs in order to get that high credit per semesters okay. um, when your kids are high school students. All right, so here's part of the enrollment. Okay, the registration fee is $300 uh, for the extra, um, extra credit costs. And then uh, the step two is what you would do, and then the school staff will work with you on that one. I mean, you'll get authorization form from your high school, and sometimes you get it, most of the time you get it from the counselors. Okay, and then uh, you bring back that form, and you normally the teacher will sign it, I will sign it, or the school will sign it, and you take it back to the school, and it's kind of the process. Okay, and this is what I just said in, in, in Chinese, and these are all the details we're we'll just kind of talking about. Okay, so we kind of cover all of this as well. Okay, let's talk about what the high school course is like. First of all, the textbook. The textbook has been adopted for the high school program. It's actually the one, the most common one, that the college, college courses are used. And one of the reasons we, we would like to adopt this one is because it's really, I mean, it's very relevant and related to um, the AP courses and also uh, the, the the classes that the student is going to if the new child decided to either taking the AP class, AP test, or decided to continue with the Chinese courses in college, this will be the book to have because uh, I would say the majority of colleges that the, the I mean adopt this uh, material as well. So this is the text. This is the textbook that we're using. It will address listening, speaking, reading and writing okay so i'm not going to go detail about every single assignment i just want to kind of show you that what is all you take and i want to leave enough time for questions and um, at the end um, so this is kind of like the, uh, the kind of different um, topic is being is going to be covered and food tv and as you can tell is very relevant to um is not just teaching the culture, it's cover a different, it has a, a variety of topics. And this is kind of the content of the book, and it doesn't matter if your student is learning simplified or um, traditional, it, it, it covers both. And uh, there's a dialogue piece, and uh, again, like a lot of students that start from why are we learning the language? You want to make sure that you know how to say it. Okay, so you're not going to see the kids like just trying to write all the. Actually, I mean, in my class, I also teach high school as well, and then I don't even remember. I don't think I ever, ever, and they ask my kids to write because I think during this time, you know, instead of writing, you need to type because then not only they type on their phone, I mean, they type on their um, they. Even though you go to uh, a job later on, I mean, your, your boss is going to ask you to produce some type of work. So it's not like just writing the character. It is the focus will be on how do you say, how do you communicate, how do you order food, okay? How do you, when you travel, what do you say, okay? It is really something, it's very relevant to I mean, the needs. So again, this is just the content of the book. I want to give you a quick review. And also, you'll see a lot of content is very close to how the AP Chinese test is presented. That's why you have all this like uh, writing, you know, that is four pictures, and you have to write some kind of article. And then, uh, and don't worry about it. A lot of CSO parents worry about what well, my kids like able to do that. You know what? We will prepare them for it. And then no matter what, even though they're not, not taking it, it is a great practice for them. I mean, to really to expand their learning to a way it is, can be used, I mean, to apply their learning later on in life. Either they get a job or they get a little traveling. Because, I mean, we wanted to encourage our kids not only be able to hear, listening to it and understand it, and also be able to speak to it. 
And one of the things I hate to say, I'm, I like to show up, but I wanted to show you, I keep saying about, hey, our lesson is pretty active, pretty fun, I mean, very relevant, and I actually want to give you some of the example. I mean, just from my class, and how what we do to take out everything there from our book and how do we learn. I mean, and how do we apply to a real life situation. So there are three things. It's very difficult for me to pick which one. I mean, there's so many I wanted to share. But I think there's three very um, unique ones that I kind of wanted to share. And knowing how, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reshare my screen so you can actually hear it. Because I want you to also be able to hear it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to reshare it. And then, so I can pick, just give me a second. So I can pick the application to reshare, reshare with you. So the first one I want to share with you is the Padlet exercise. So let me find the Padlet, so you should be able to see. It. Okay. So this is the I just did it. Yeah, lesson ten. So um, just a uh, very recent. Okay. Well, you just started last week, so you can see that not only my student can type, so each one of them, so they type it, that I can get their quick responses. We do this during class, and then. Well, it's not like I'm asking my kids to draw pictures. No, not that. No, I'm, I'm asking them the questions. I want to make sure they understand. So I'm actually testing them about listening. And by the way they, they, they draw, I know if you know, they understand me or not. And I will also ask questions. And how do I get the instant response for all my students? So they have to submit something audio. So I will play one to you. 这张今天的NC在好不好? Okay, so you can see that I, I have all my students answer here as so I can listen to it and I can actually talk to them. And then that is how we do it when they're not right in front of me. And honestly, I've been teaching kind of like this, even though they're in front of me, because I use a lot of technology as well. So, and not only that, I mean, they can also submit an audio piece. And I believe this person is Japanese. And, and look at how wonderful that, that, that she can do. Okay. Okay, you have been to French. Tell me where you have been. So again, then you can see the different way of getting to I mean, this is uh, this is almost our every 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 call course is some type of instant response that we're getting. So one thing I always take, uh, but I also oversee schools and I do a lot of teacher training. One thing I always tell the teacher that if you are the person that's that speak or talk more than more than one third of the classes, I want you to go back and then you do your lessons. Because this is not a good lesson. This is a language course. You should be getting input from your students. So this is one of the examples I wanted to show you. And then another one I want to show you as well. And let me go get to this one. Because all of them I want you to be able to hear. So I want to show you how we do test, how we do an assessment. Okay, so Mm -hmm. Let me find the right link. Okay, midterm. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. So for the midterm, um, I, I'm not a big fan of paper pencil and text because I believe that, especially for language courses, you got to be flexible, you got to be able to really get as much as you could from the students. Okay, and then in order to prepare this midterm, we actually, we have a plan how to teach the song. So we make sure we, we have the kid learn a song, a Chinese song. And then we learn the meaning of the, 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 the lyrics. And then we explain to each other. And again, I don't teach them, they learn. Because one of the very important thing is, teacher always feel like, that, okay, I teach, so what? Okay, you can be teaching forever. But the point is, did your kids learn it? How do you know? You know what? When you start teaching and force them to learn, then you know if they're learning it or not. So pretty much we got we down to almost uh, a month of course lesson plan, and then the team work together, translate the, the lyrics, 
and then they, they kind of share, and, and then later on, for the midterm, they put the project together, which they have to perform. And one of the requirements I ask them to do is, you know what, I don't mind you reading your, your reading. You don't have to memorize it. It can be right in front of you, your reading. But when I see the, the performance, I do not want to see any, any. I want to see you holding on the paper and reading. Because what that told me, you didn't learn anything. So here's just one of the performances I want to show you. Just one of them. All of them are, I mean, very good. Okay, let me make sure you can hear it too. It is a Chinese song. It's not sorry. No concert.点赞唱，点赞唱，把这把灯下，点灯，把灯下，点灯唱，把这把灯下。来，继续告诉妈妈，莫哥的复习机二十年生命一个大，被动元素的皮肤，各种元素的变化，随意念的说的开始流
。虽然小钟是一个聪明的孩子。Okay, I'm going to stop right here because again, this is not a story telling a, a type of presentation. But what I, I think one of you might be—I mean, some of you might be thinking—what、well, my kids' Chinese is not that good. It's okay. I mean, the concept is the same. Okay, I mean, you, you, they, they might not be able to actually Chinese one people. Yeah, because the concept might be this. The 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 concept is the same. I mean, it's just the degree of difficulty or complexity that that could be embedded to, I mean, the the work. And honestly, you know what? I it really is depending on the how the teacher will design the course and get the kids involved. Because in that case, the student feel like、oh, this is actually fun to do it. Because I know how hard it is. I have kids myself too to actually ask them to take another class. On、Saturday and Sunday, you know, and I always tell my kids, I have a full time job. You guys have a full time job. You work, okay? I work all week, and you also all week. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to spend my valid time with you on Sunday or Saturday. Guess what? I'm going to make it fun. The only reason I'm doing it because it is fun to do it, and that is our goal. We want to make sure our classes is acting engaging. Our classes. Fun, and I know a lot of people think, well, the high school kids want fun classes. Of course, they even the adult want the fun classes because the best learning happen when they're enjoying it. That's my belief. So let me unshare this part, and I believe let me share my whole entire screen so I can see everyone. So I believe this is the end of our presentation. So, is there any question for me? No question so far, Daniel. That's good. Any question that you want to bring it up, or things that you want to know about high school? I was a high school counselor twenty years ago, <laughs> but I'm currently oversee、um, school, so I can continue to support you. If any question. Thoughts? Anything that you wanted to share? Everyone's so quiet. Well, is there anything that the school、uh, staff would like to add, Carrie and Juliana? Let me see. The teaching content. Oh, this is a little tiny. Let me just make it a little bit. It's not you, it's just me. My eye doesn't work that way anymore. Okay, let me see. So you know what? I'm gonna unshare this so I can bring the question up so everyone can see it. What about that? Okay, I'm sharing my entire screen. All right. The teaching content between twelve to one are different than regular morning. Oh yes, that's correct. It's different, and then we're working. We're focusing on you know just the reading. We're focusing on reading mostly because one of the area that we think is challenging for our student is reading hard, and then, and reading is speaking because not the others are challenging as well. But I think these two is really beneficial. Oh, since you're talking about that, let me show you what we what we do. So, oh, by the way, about being creative, <laughs> I just this is what we do for end of school year party.、Uh, where I know I don't know if you know, there's a very popular TV show called Words of Honors, and then、uh, so this is we're prepping this for a class party. We have activity that we can do. Again, we're going to try to be fun. So, going back to the extra credit cost. So just give you kind of example.、Um, regardless of pandemic or not, I always use Google Classroom. I mean, always use Google Classroom. So this is where the parents and the students can、uh, access their、um, can access their、uh, coursework. And I wanted to show you our very very nice website. <clears throat> hey, this website is so unique. Why is that? Okay,、uh, what we do is I mean we'll go to、uh, reading lessons and then watch what happened when I、uh, when I move my cursor. 
So I would kind of go through it in class together. And then when I move close to it, it will show me, okay, this character is spicy. Okay, what does that mean? It's bad. See that? And then not only that, I mean, it will actually read it to you. And then our assignment is really we in class, we talk about it, we ask some questions, and then we're going to build some vocab um, sheet and then practice it. And then in the homework, you just record this. Yeah, you just record the lessons. So it's like I said, it's not a lot of work. It's manageable, and the students actually enjoy it. The story is pretty fun. Okay, let me go back. See, yeah, I answered that question. So, anyone else? No. You know, one thing I learned in the online world when it's quiet. Either I totally agree with you, or I just kind of not sure what I'm going to ask at this time. So it's fine. So Juliana, I want to refer back to you and Terry. Anything that I, you think that I forgot to mention? I think uh, probably that I don't know. Does the parents have any in, uh, question about the extra credit for transfer back to the? The homeschool, the credit. Okay, let's that, that answer Dana's question first, and I will oh, okay. uh, How did ICS prepare students for AB test? Uh, in the past, and we will have we had an option. Well, not in the past. Regularly, in a normal before pandemic. Is um, we use we have this AB course is part of their elective course, so in so they will take two hours of Chinese course and one hour is elective, which is the AB course, and then uh, but I hate to say but you know because during pandemic because since we couldn't do any elective course, so the AB the Chinese school actually opened up. At AP classes um, and on Saturday and like for two hours. Okay, so keep in mind though, before pandemic is one hour, actually 50 minutes, like every every week. But during pandemic, it become two hours and it doubled the time. But of course the parents will have to pay for that because that's, that's in addition to um, the course. But that was the first time I feel like I always feel rushed when I teach AP, because it just, I just always feel like it's such a rush because an hour is just not enough time. And honestly, this year, when, thanks to the pandemic, and my kids are taking it next week, uh, I told them that, you know what, if you, all of you are going to pass. And it's a matter of four or five, because AP courses, three, four, or five, they're all passing score. And three, what is the difference? Okay. Normally, the difference is when sometimes, depending on the college you apply, if you get a four or five, some college will give you the whole year of uh, college courses, and you get a three, they probably will just only give you one semester. But all three of them are passing grade, meaning three, four, or five, they're all passing grade. But anyway, I was going to make it all you could pass because I feel they're so well prepared, and then I want to thank. Irvine Chinese School to give me the opportunity to experience this two-hour courses. It actually, it is a lot, I mean, not only for kids, but it's also for the teacher that is, they're more well prepared. But then again, even though moving forward, I don't know what the Chinese school plan is, but I do believe that one hour, at least at the last the course, is still there. And I'm not saying they're not prepared. It was just last time, and we will have to probably do more work outside the classroom in order to make it a lot, but that is how we do it. And then how do we prepare? Uh, it's very simple. You know, to prepare, to prepare any type of camp is very easy. The reason for that is, you know, there is a very clear rubric and also content and standards that, that all AP courses have to go by. And by the way, I also oversee um, all the assessment of my district. And then, uh, so we work very closely with the uh, college board. So, because um, when you talk about a test, you got to be very clear with exactly where you're going to be testing. So, all the components and also, 
a domain is very specific. So we have a very good book, actually. I mean, this is the, the textbook that we use, and it's, I also have my kids. There are eight different units, and that is the eight domains that AP Chinese class will cover. And then if you just, just, get to know that one of the hardest things for my students to do is the cultural piece. They actually have to talk for two minutes about some type of cultural prompt. And then I told them, you know what, what you need to do is memorize a prompt. And it doesn't matter what the, the content, you can always, it doesn't matter what the question is, you can always throw it, throw it out there. For example, if you memorize something about the Great Wall, okay, when it asks you about the, the tourists is one of the the domain, you can say, oh, my favorite place to go is the Great Wall, and the reason for that is because blah, blah, blah. Or if they ask you about a movie, you can say, oh, I just saw a movie. This movie, this is a documentary, is about the Great Wall. Okay, so again, is the stem from, you can use it again and again and again. So to answer your question, I know that's a long answer for a short question, is it is really, we have a very strategic way to prepare our kids. That's why I think taking the course is so essential. I mean, you and I both know that. I mean, it is sometimes not a degree of how much you know, it is sometimes it is how much you know about how it is being tested. Hopefully, I answer your question. And then, Juliana mentioned about, okay, some parents may have a question about how does this credit get transferred back to your school and then uh, i think terry you might be a better one to answer that i can talk about it but terry do you want to address that uh okay uh so at the end of each semester we will uh mail the transcript to the school and and the school will post it so i will send the reminder email to the parents to check on your parent board to see if the, the grades and credits are posted so that's it thank you terry you know one of the best thing about doing online meeting because i remember i just had this do this kind of orientation a lot when i do it in person and know you do it in person there are so many questions and then, I usually have a class at one o'clock, and I always say like, oh, okay, then can I just take it? And I'll answer in the email. But I, I'm glad that uh, it's not like, I know it's not like you don't have a question. It probably doesn't even hit you yet. And no worry, okay? Anytime you have a question, and you can always take it back to Juliana and Terry, and then uh, we're here to support you. And our job here is, is, is really, because I know having the kids going to high school, there's so much unknown. Okay, so we want to be able to give you as much information as possible in not only just the Chinese school and also what's going on, what's happening at your school. I'm mean, taking courses, what is the best class to take, when I'm going to do what. Okay, it is, it is hard. I remember when my child, my kids went to uh, high school. It is difficult, even though I, I work in the education system. So, if there is no more questions, are we good for me to end it here? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, we're going to end it right here. And I thank you everyone for joining us. And I'm going to stick around for a couple of seconds. So you might have some kind of additional question you would like to bring it up. If not, feel free to uh, leave the session. And uh, hopefully uh, when we all come back in person, uh, uh, I get to see all of you in person. I mean, feel free to say hi. Okay, I'm Mrs. Lin. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. Um, Ms. Lin, can you um, explain how you uh, give different students, uh, because we will combine level one, level two, level three, or even level four together in the extra credit class. Can you explain how you do this? Oh, how do I do that? Okay. Yeah. So hopefully you don't need one, two, three, four. That would be way too many. But if we have, I mean, I'm going to explain how we do the, when there's a different level of student. Uh, I want to give you an example. Okay, this year I have extra credit class beginner, and I also have extra credit class advanced class. This is advanced. So pretty much we put the Chinese one and two in the beginner, and three and four in the extra, uh, extra uh, the advanced class. So I have two. 
And and in addition to that, I mean, I I kind of I sort of make it possible for the Chinese two kids because sometimes when it, in my events part it goes too hard, I'm okay. I mean, for the the three and two two and three kids, I I, I can I'm willing to make it possible for for the parents. So the way we do it is, um, you can tell that. So let's go back to the assignment that I gave it. I always have this typing practice. It is so critical. Remember, I kind of talked about we have to know how to type because this is the real world. This is the twenty first century. Instead of learning how to write, let's learn how to type. And especially if your kids going to take AP Chinese test, the student have to type at least at least they have to write an essay. Okay, two hundred fifty words in fifteen minutes. Okay, you got to pick up that speed. And the way we do it is we have this awesome, very nice uh, typing test. Ooh. Typing practice online, so the student can type it, and it depends on the level. And then this is a higher cost. So I'll show you the depends level here. Okay, so they'll type it. So to answer your question, they'll type it, and they'll they'll hear it, they'll hear the lesson, and that's so I will have one of the events class typing it, doing their practice while I'm teaching the other. Does that make sense? So one group will be typing this, which they have to practice anyway, and then the others will be doing. Then that allow me to teach the reading part for the other, and then uh, and then I will put it up there. That's how I do it. Does that answer that question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. And then again, we're done. So if you're still here, I will assume that you want to ask me questions. And if not, then uh, feel free to leave. I mean, or and ask some questions. Shipping, Ashley, Joy, do you have a question for me? Joy, do you have a question for me? Yes, I actually. Um, okay. I'm not very familiar with AP. Does that mean they take the AP in Chinese school, or do they have to take the Chinese language class in their high school and then um, take that's it there? A, that's actually a very good question. Okay, the way the, the way uh, AP course work. Okay, there's not a requirement. It's not a cultural requirement that you have to have a class in order to take a test. What that means is. You can just walk in there and tell your kids. Oh, what high school did your kids go to? Um, um, should be in uni high. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So you can go to uh, your your school. Every school uh, system principal is that want to take the test. They will have to put you in the test. It's not a requirement. Okay. And then uni high, I believe they have their own testing site. And then, uh, so it depends on the school. For the student that don't have uh, AP test on their site, that course, then they can go to a Chinese school. Then we will help those kids to uh, arrange the testing site. Is that your question? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Ashley, do you have a question for me or shipping? Hey, uh, I joined the link. Sorry, maybe I missed this uh, uh, user earlier. So if so, if my kid uh, takes class in middle school, can the credits be transferred to uh, to the high school? Um, Say that again because you're echoing, so I kind of yeah. So can you know like, when can he like uh, when he takes class with? Uh, can the credit be transferred to his high school um, uh, like, uh, transcript? Yeah, that's that's what we talked about earlier, and then that's uh, that's the slide I'm going to show you. Uh, this is how you get translated, and it depends on what what, what school does your kids go to? Uh, uni, also. Yeah, so your high school will give the kids ten credit, and then uh, what that means is, is once is two semesters. And then, uh, so, but your kids will have to take because this is a five credit class. So you got to take at least you got to put it into at least five hours per week. That's by law, by the educational code. So you will take three hours classes, and then we're gonna ask the kids to take the after credit class, 
between 12 to 1. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys are Saturday students. Hopefully, it's on Saturday. If not, the Sunday class is for sure. We always have the Sunday class. So we're hoping to have enough students so we can do a 12 to 1 class. Then I make it a four. Then you get a one hour independent work, which is not a lot. It's not just one hour. It won't be one hour. I'll promise you. Okay. So that is the yes. So answer your question. Yes, they can transfer back. But without doing the extra credit class or independent work, it won't be. Because it's additional class, there's going to be, I believe, additional charge. I want to put it up from there. Please explain it to you. Yes. So if it is the elective of like the basket will not count towards like one yes. count, right? That will not count. You have to be uh, language related. If it's a if that's the elective. You have to be a Chinese cultural or language related. But is it possible sorry I missed all these uh slides in the beginning. Is it possible to share the slides with the parent? Oh, uh, I think we put it in the chat room. Are you, is that okay? Can I, can I share this in the chat room? Let me do that. Okay, I will do that right now. So you got the view access. So I am going to put in the chat room for you. See, that's why people want to stick around. Look at all this great thing that you just got. Okay, you got it? Uh, hold on, can we see? Yeah, on my screen, put it in the chat room. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. So, anyone else have any more questions? Speak now. <laughs> well, if not, I'm going to end today's session. And then, uh, very nice meeting all of you. And I want to wish you happy Mother's Day. And, uh, and enjoy. Because uh, have a great weekend. Yeah. Have a great weekend. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. This is very helpful. You're very welcome. Glad to support. Bye. See ya. Okay. Juliana, can you go? Okay, go. Have you any questions? Thank you. 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 Thank you.